a writer producer named Stephen Anton, who actually, I was in LA shooting, I had a contract with Guess Jeans, like the clothing company, mm -hmm. and it was pilot season. And this guy named Stephen Anton, his producer, um, who's since become like my brother, he gave me my first job, saw my headshot in a stack and said, that guy, where is he? <laughs> Call him. And they said, okay, they searched for me. I was in LA shooting a guest campaign. They wanted to read me for this pilot. And I had been studying, I, I wanted, yeah, of course I wanted to do a show. And I had to beg, and he was so sweet to do it, Paul Marciano, the guy that owns guests, to let me out of my contract a few days and not sue me. So I go audition for this TV show, and I got the damn show. And it was me and Kate Bosworth, um, Matt Zuckery, Kate Minnick, um, who else? Charlie Hunnam. All these people That's that why were I in the show. Sorry, that kind of and it was this beautiful little TV show about a small town, um, kids in high school, learning the ropes and sex and dealing with things. And it was really cool, and it was in 1999. And we shot that pilot in Atlanta in 1999. And then I'm living there, literally in 2015, 16 years later. That was a great show. We were all really young, we shot in Baltimore. <clears throat> I've never been more hungover on a set ever in my life. <laughs> when you're 21 um, and you're uh, living the dream, I mean, I took my work very, very seriously, but I also took my after work very, very seriously. <laughs> And it was just an amazing moment in time, living in Baltimore and like taking the water taxi to, to work and uh, watching Kate Bosworth grow up to become someone not 15. <laughs> and it was amazing. And, and those, those moments, you know, you go back and you think about, it, it, there was, I don't know what it was, it was a special, I don't know if it was Oscars or something. I remember they were doing a tribute to Gene Hackman's life. And Gene Hackman's like sitting in the front row, and then on these jumbotrons, they flash, you know, 30 years of acting of all of his work, which is pretty amazing. I know, I'm boring you, I'm sorry, I'll make it faster. You but you're watching this amazing man. I think Gene Hackman's one of the best actors ever walked the face of the planet. He's incredible. But you're watching him look up at this screen of his entire life go by. So he watched himself go from this young man to this super accomplished, mature gentleman in the course of 25 seconds on this giant screen with like 20 million people watching. And if you look at the video, you watch his eyes and they, they well up because he's looking at a cross section of his life through fast forward. And I just thought, Shit, man, that's gonna be me one day. And I always go back to young Americans, and I'm gonna think, one day, I'm gonna think back to when I was 20 years old, running around Baltimore shooting this little TV show. And so many, it touched so many people. I had people coming up to me on the streets all over the place, just missing that show. So, again, we love story. We've been storytellers since we were cavemen. And the one thing that we have to recognize, again, is that every story, every character, from cave paintings to Damon, are just archetypes. They're all archetypes that we somehow connect to. There are elements in them that, we, that resonate with us, that we want to be, or we don't want to be, or we just can't get enough of, or we... It's those guilty pleasures. And it's such a cool thing that bonds us. So again, let it bond us, not separate us to where we want to bludgeon each other with really awful language and do that kind of shit. I love being in this position to be experiencing all this stuff with you guys. It's a really unique place. And now, in the 21st century, that we have all these things, it's really, uh, it's really just become so interactive. It's amazing. You know, I get to talk to millions and millions of people 
a day. You know, I am thankful to say that my social reach is something like 300 million people a month. It's a lot of people. And so, hopefully, as I get better as an artist, which I will, I promise, <laughs> and as I grow as a man and as a friend and colleague and husband or parent or any of these things, I want to use entertainment to tell stories, but also make the world better. And I think it's now it's the time to do it. Thank you for that. Thank you so much. See